Alright guys and welcome back to Armored Warfare and today we are taking out the new tier 8 vehicle, the Type 98 under the Zheng dealer. Now, I tried to get a good game for a very long time with this thing. As soon as I received the vehicles, thank you Obsidian for, for giving me them, I tried my absolute hardest to get a decent game. But every game I played, I got completely and utterly destroyed by tier 9s. This vehicle cannot take on a tier 9 and it struggles with tier 8s. It really is not that good. I was pleasantly surprised by that, I may say. I did sit there and I sat behind my keyboard going, what on earth is this vehicle? It's not brilliant. To, to get this game that I played, I had to fight the tier 7s. And even then, I still got damaged pretty badly. And I say pretty badly, I didn't get damaged too badly. But they penetrated me at tier 7. In this thing, I was like, what? Through the turret? Are you serious? They did do some critical damage to me, and I was a bit like, oh, sort of that, that thing. Anyway, we're on River Point, and we've gone down the 1 2 sort of sector, and it's me and a BMD 4. And I really, really did not think we would win this flank. I was sitting there going, the tier 9s are going to appear. It's going to be another game where I just get completely bum rushed by basically all the tier 9s, and I can't do anything against them. But it didn't turn out to be the way. So we've got the 2, two Stingray 2 platoon. Over there, they've moved up. And we've got an M8 Thunderbolt, an M1 Abrams. And I can't see what that is. Is that a T-80? Is that the Paladin? I think it's the Paladin. I think. I don't know. Something like that. Anyway, have a look. No one's there. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, they're tier 7s and I'm in a tier 8. Tier 8 MBT. I'm going to put this thing to the test of brawling. So this thing's got a 125mm gun. It also has 320 millimeters of hull armor, and I think it's about 400 millimeters on the turret, which isn't bad. It's well angled, but if if you look when I'm panning around the vehicle, have a look at the lower plate. The lower plate is massive and it's very weak. The lower plate is basically non-existent. It's made of rice paper. It really is terrible. The gun is good. Gun's got a nice rate of fire, 7.71 seconds, straight through his turret. 535 damage, not bad at all actually. My gun does, on average, about 560 damage, 510 penetration. I have the Mark III chrome barrel lining on this thing, of course, which does help out in certain aspects of the vehicle. Accuracy is down to 0 0.06 degrees, because I got, after my few games that I did play, I did get the minimum accuracy bonus from my gunner on this thing, which is quite handy. Only a three-man crew, which is all right. There's... And there you go. Look at that. Boom. M1 Abrams, tier 7, penetrated the top of my turret right there for 383 damage. I penetrated him, of course, for 570, and he damaged my autoloader. So I'm just going to repair that up like ASAP. Stingray 2, the rear of it, boom, 567 damage. It's not got the fastest rate of fire, but actually it's more rate of fire than the um, T90MS. Accuracy is still a bit off sometimes. But 7.71 seconds for a 125mm gun is not bad at all. There's the T-80 running away. Fire, boom, 778 for a critical hit on the top of his engine deck. It, it does do quite a high DPM, actually. I was pleasantly surprised by that. Straight through the side again, 648. I like I like the gun. I just don't like the vehicle. The armor is non-existent. And it's, it's an MBT, so it relies on its armor. It's got a good HP pool, 2,405. That's very good. Very good HP for a tier 8 there. I'd be happy to have that on a tier 9, that sort of HP. But it's the armor that really lets it down. The mobility is... Yeah, it's a main battle tank. Mobility is not meant to be brilliant. But it's meant to have good armor as well. And the armor is not brilliant. Really not good. We took a high explosive projectile there from the uh, M1 Abrams. And I was just about to hit his lower plate there. But he blew my gun up. And I've already repaired my autoloader. And my accuracy is now bugger all. Brilliant. So that's ba that's quite a lot of the brawling that I did this game, actually. I did fend this flank off for our BMD and allowed our guys to come around behind. So I, what damage did I take? I took 501 damage. Not not bad. We did deal 3,800. There's the goes the Stingray 2. He's running off the other end of the map. And I look at the mini-map and I think to myself... Boy, that's a lot of tier 9s coming down that flank. I better make a rush. So I've showed you guys what the armor's like with the M1 Abrams fighting him, the HE, the other guys firing at me from different angles, Stingray 2s perhaps. Uh, the mobility, I'm about to show you what that thing's like. The mobility isn't that great. 
It's an MBT, so it's all right. The gun is good. I like the gun. The gun is very, very nice. 510 pen, 560 damage. 7.71 second reload, 0 0.06 degree spread on the accuracy. Gun depression isn't bad, actually. Come If you've played the WZ1224, I think it is, the premium tier 5, you'd know that that gun depression is basically non-existent. It only fires horizontally. This thing actually has gun depression. I nearly drowned myself here. Look at how close it is. I'm like, oh my god. I nearly drowned myself after this game. That would have been a disaster if I'd done that. But I didn't. I had two seconds left and we're out. And, well, I've completely driven around the map now. Our guys have wiped the floor of those tier 9s up there that were originally attacking. All there is now is a Stingray 2 over there. M8 Thunderbolt. A BMD4 and a T90MS. Oh, scrap that. BMD4 has just been obliterated by a 2A5. Right then. Let's put this thing in full throttle with a damaged gun. Let's see if we can try and take some more damage. We need 100 and 52 damage, I think that is, to get 4,000. There's the... Oh, no, I'm never going to hit that. I loaded a heat round just because I wanted to see what damage would be like. But no, sadly not. Stingray 2, can we get him? Now, everyone's rushing to this Stingray 2, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, I'm not going to get him, am I? One kill, 3,848 damage. The crab goes. Crab does a bit of damage, 195, but... Oh, no, a bit more there. Not very much more HP left. This guy is left with a 154 HP. If I can kill him. There's so many guys behind me. There he is. Aim and boom. Straight through the side. Just got him. 4,002 damage. Two kills. 501 damage returned. But overall after playing this figure. I'm going to make vi um, videos over the course of when I can. Of all the different vehicles. So the WZ. The tier 5. Tier 4. Type 59, the tier 7s, blah, blah. I'm going to go through the entire Zheng dealer and try and make videos on them all. But starting with the Type 98, I really wouldn't say it's a very competitive vehicle at all. It, it does need significant buffs to this vehicle. The armor is lacking. It does get penetrated very easy. The bulge on top of the turret, easy to pen, judging by what people say. Tier 9s wreck this thing. Tier 8s destroy this thing. It can only take on tier 7s, and even then they penetrate you. So, the armor is lacking. The mobility, it's a tier 8 main battle tank. You're not expecting much. It's a bit sluggish. The gun is good. I like that 125mm. It does have a lot of potential, this vehicle. With the correct buffs, it could be a very competitive vehicle, I do say. It can't take on tier 8s and 9s, though. Pfft. What are you saying? I kept getting a tier 9 games and getting destroyed. What's that? Oh, look at that. 1,231 spot damage as well. Not bad. 4,002. Two kills. No, we uh, didn't do very well on the team at all. Fourth on kills, far off on that. Third on damage. We did terrible on the assists and the spots. And just over halfway on the reputation. But this was about my third game in the Type 98 as well. So I wasn't expecting much. I'm not upgraded. I've literally got the second AP round. The first upgraded AP round. And one retrofit. Put Freya as the commander. And that's it. I'm playing this thing basically stock. So guys... Thank you for watching this video on the Type 98. I hope you've now seen, hopefully, your first video on it. Maybe you can make your mind up. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.